Hey guys, I'm Russell Vayner. Welcome back to another episode of Dishonored Death of the Outsider. So where we last left off was that we were infiltrating the bank, uh, the inside, the more inner side of the bank, uh, where the, all the vaults are sitting. But I am going to probably start off by saying that we're going to start over again from the beginning of the episode before the last episode. So it's basically, this is going to be a redo episode of the bank heist. Um, so basically, we know information that we technically should know now at this point. Um, but at the same time, I did mess up because um, during some of the opportunities to get some of the contract being done, like some of the contracts that needed to be done, uh, that opportunity ended up being down the like went down the drain pretty much. Um, and uh, I wanted to start over again because there were some stuff that I wanted to get to, but I just failed to get to it at the like at pretty much. At some points of it um at the same time i do know some new things that like i didn't really think about before um so we're gonna probably do some of that here in this episode so yeah that must be the vault it's some kind of fancy elevator a control room can move the vault into two places i need to find a way to move that thing all right one so... way or another so first and foremost yeah i needed to shut that thing down or at least mark that thing up at least i'd say um but otherwise everything else remains pretty much the same thing i'd say um so one of the things i didn't know about which is uh an ability i i just noticed is called placing the displacement to with the uh yeah because i didn't realize you can displace yourself while in the um oh wait what oh no never mind yeah because i didn't realize you can displace yourself while in foresight that was the one thing i did not know about at the very least um okay i see it's canceling the foresight i see um Weirdly enough, it didn't seem to work, I guess. Yeah, that was the weird part. It just didn't allow me to do the thing, I guess. I was marking the thing. I'm still trying to make it work because this is... Wait, what? It's still here. What? Maybe it's because I didn't... Despawn it, I guess. Um... I'm trying to make it work, but basically it's something I didn't know about. I, I didn't really realize that this particular ability exists, pretty much. Okay, let me go and do that. Um, do I have to, like, move closely to it, maybe? Yeah, because it doesn't let me go and do the thing, I guess. Yeah, so basically that was the ability that was available for me. The foresight with the with the marking of the displacement. But I think it's because my distance away from the area is not good enough. Yeah, I'll loot all that stuff at the very least. Yeah, because I think that the displacement works well enough where I can just like... Let me see if that's the case. Let me test this out a little bit. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so I have to actually be able to see it, I think, in order to teleport to it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I needed to test that out because that was a... There was a reason why I didn't know what to do. Is because I didn't... Or I, there's a reason why I didn't know, like, that ability because I wasn't paying attention to the instructions earlier on. But I was watching the video of somebody doing some of the contract work and I was like, wait, you can actually do that? <laughs> so I wasn't sure... I wasn't, like, really familiar with the idea that that was how it worked. Yeah, it's too far away, it seems like. Alright, so I'm gonna go down from here anyway, still. So, yeah, basically I'm gonna go a little bit faster than I normally would. I'm probably gonna make... Like, I, although I know, uh... Oh, wait, have we read this before? I don't even remember if we read this one before. Mm hmm we already read that thing already. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we better be careful for who we end up... Correspondence between auditors. Okay, so there's some notes about some other stuff there. Alright, we gotta be very, very cautious here at the very least. But, yeah, overall I'm gonna go a little bit faster because we now know where we need to go. Um, at the very least, I'm trying my best to uh, get through as fast as I can so we can just move on to the next mission. Because this episode should have been, like, done and over with with me when I uh, ended up... Where I ended up, like, actually being, like... Caught up with other things, I guess. Like, I'm, I, I mean, I should have ended this episode, or I, I should have ended the last episode with me doing the robbery right off the bat, but obviously, uh, we had to do it again because I was messing up a lot and I really didn't know what I was thinking about when it came to doing some of this stuff. So, in the mean, in that meantime, or in that particular, in that particular, uh, episode in the last episode technically um i wanted to like try to do it all over again because i messed up a lot to a point where i just felt like i was unsatisfied with how i did some of the stuff but having knowledge in some games ahead of time actually would benefit the most to helping me out and figuring out what i'm supposed to do so one of the key things that somebody else mentioned in this oh dear oh dear that was a close one that was a very close one i'm also starting to sweat a little bit because I'm starting to... Oh no, the thing was holding it. Okay. Yeah, so one of the key things that somebody mentioned was that the... By the time I unlock this uh, whale oil thing, sometimes an alarm does get raised, and uh, that forces the game to wake up some people, I guess, maybe? So it's a, it's a hit or miss, technically. So I'm going to save a new save. This one is the old episode, but... That's if I want to return back to that, if I feel like this episode ends up failing as well. Okay, I need to be very, very careful. Yeah, because the last episode, the guy woke up, the guard woke up, and I was pissed. Because I was like, how the hell did it wake him up? That literally doesn't make sense to me, because there was no sound or anything of the sort that should wake the guy up but apparently it woke up the guard somehow and so that made me a little angrier that that was technically the case oh see see like that i don't get it how did that woke him up how did that wake them up i don't get it that's the weird part there's no signs of anything happening there was no sign of anything happening and then i woke they woke up what the hell? I'm so confused by that. What happened there? That made no sense to me. I'm so confused what the heck happened there. Is it because I shocked something or something fell over? Let me wait a little bit just to see what happened. I'm so confused. I was so lost in the fact that, you know, they have they did the, that, and I was like, wait, what? What's going on here? You are quick. Wait, how the hell did the robot... So the robot did something. Or the robot noticed something that was off, it looks like. Yeah, I'm so confused by why the robot does the thing it does. That's the weird part. What is this robot up to? Is it because it saw the wall, maybe? The wall of light gone, maybe? So then my best case scenario is... But then that means that if I rewire this... If I rewire it, it means that I could potentially kill people by accident. Yeah, because if... if uh, if an enemy ends up walking through it, it could potentially kill people, which I don't want, but I got no choice because the robot will automatically... This robot will automatically just, like, 
the tech things that are like very awkwardly different. And that's probably why the guard woke up, is because when the robots see something that's different, like electronically or technology wise, um, it will wake anybody up in the area. And that's probably what it is. That's what I'm not seeing. But it's so hard to tell that that's the case or the reason why it's it suddenly does weird things. That's the that's the most oddest thing I've ever seen in my life, honestly. Um, can I get? Oh, there it is. I wasn't sure how far I would I could reach to get to the things. All right. So basically. What I need to do is to figure out a way to get in anyways. But otherwise, that's pretty much it, I think. Yeah, if anything, all I need to do is not wake anybody up. Or, uh, let me get rid of that. Let me foresight my way through here, I guess. Uh, over here, maybe? Okay, I'm gonna wait till... I don't think I can actually go... Yeah, I don't think I can actually get through there. If the robot's staring out like that. Yeah, I'm just being bothered by the fact that, uh... This situation is very stressful at the very least. Alright, I have to wait till the robot actually passes by. So another thing I'm kind of curious about is that... Do I need to require myself to see through the thing? In order to displace myself. Director Michaels for a private security box. Reservations are limited. All right, I'm gonna wait till the robot at least looks away. What does that red sign mean, I wonder? Okay, there we go. I got through there at live At the very least, I got through that area. Okay, cool. So what I need to be careful with in this area in particular was just the robot itself. So if I do turn off something, uh, the robot will set up that alarm. So the best case scenario is to try to figure out when to do certain things but at the same time I can't blind the robot I can't blind the clockwork soldier at all whatsoever so that's why I'm thinking like it's really really difficult now let me go in here to mark it I gotta do very quick scans and get in and get in here a little bit. Getting into some of these areas a little bit harder. Michaels and Associates Deposit and Loan Bank is a warrant holder to the Crown. By appointment to her Imperial oh. Highness, Emily Coughlin. Dr. Galvani's memoir. Who is Dr. Galvani again? I remember we've seen this character's name before in either in the last game or the first game. I can't remember. Pause and read, of course. Okay, I didn't realize the room. I didn't realize there was a room here. So, well, there is a uh, bone charm somewhere here. It looks like, or it sounds like. I mean, it didn't look like. It just sounds like. Oh shoot! I didn't realize this is not. An object that I need. Oh, there it is. I didn't even see it. Alright. Forget I don't even know what that is. Uh under under undeniable, sorry. Your sword attacks cannot be blocked. Oh, okay. I don't need it. Not willing to take the challenge there or take the, the pain. Okay, so I'm just... Oh, this is the, the arrest, newspaper arrest thing. 
All right, the robot's coming back into this corner. But yeah, I had an opportunity to take on the lockboxes, but I chose to mess up because I didn't realize which lockbox it was. But yeah, the most challenging thing out of this uh, this area is just the clockwork soldier, basically. I, I'm not a big fan of dealing with these guys, considering that they're just looking at your stuff and then boom, you're done. Like, they don't really... They don't really give you a chance to, like, literally do anything to, uh... To, to get you... To get you allowed to, uh, do some stuff. Okay, we got the thing we need. This is what I needed. Um... No, what am I doing? I'm trying to displace myself a little bit. But right now I need to... Move a little bit onto the side here because this is the locker that we're looking for here. So I can't even see much. Um, two, three, one. So the the contract did give us the number code for this thing. Okay, so we don't need to worry about that. Three, two, three, four, five. So yeah, the the. If you want to see the contract, uh, let me show you guys the contract. Um, contracts. So the stone, it says that right here on the side of the note right here, it says 315. I only have 315 coin to my name. So that's why it's trying to mention that as like a... Uh, I need to not bump into this dude. There we go. Got it. So that's one of the contracts done. And so that's pretty much it. So I didn't really have any more. Oh, Gavani. Who else has their stuff in here? Offers the best security in the aisles. Electrified floors, trained guards, clockwork sentinels, and the tool in our crown, the elevator vault. Who's this? Christopher George? Do we even have like, any code for these kind of things? I'm kind of curious about that. I don't think there is anything though, because we don't have a lot. Yeah, it doesn't say anything much. Yeah, I want to see if there's any like crazy stuff that I we, that we would want to get for, uh, or if there was a note from a past part of it that was like very much tied into whatever it is. But it doesn't look like it would be, I don't think. So yeah, let's get out of here. Gonna wait till the robot turns around. So what? I need to technically do is to not turn off the power so whatever anything I need to do the power stuff needs to not be the thing I need to use because all right I need to probably use this mostly I want to avoid using too many uh... damn it I can't even reach that far Wait, is that another... Oh, I didn't realize there was actually more. Yeah, I didn't realize there was an extra, uh, extra like, thing on the top. Alrighty. That saved me some hassle. Alright, let me save just in case. But yeah, overall, that was what I needed to do anyways. Um, and I wanted to do that in, in the general spec of the things. So technically, when we go up all the way here, we shouldn't have any alarm raised to uh, to alert anybody or anything. So we should be fine up here. If only if I wasn't like worried about. I'm here like, to steal all your secrets, Dolores. Is if if, if sorry, I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to think about what I'm trying to say. If only if I wasn't doing the contract, I would have like really did more than this, I guess I would say. Um, but otherwise, it's like so difficult to do, uh, considering that one of the contract breaks the moment you're just doing like the slightest bit of things at the release. I think that was the only item I don't have. Yeah, I think that was the... I don't need to worry too much about anything else. 
I believe I already read this, right? Yeah, it doesn't say that I needed that. Oh yeah, we would have the, uh, that would give me the mission clue pretty much, I think, once I picked up that note. I'm guessing those are cups, maybe? Yeah, there's the Clockwork Soldier, but it's not awake because it doesn't have any, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I, I saw somebody else do a playthrough of this, and somebody had this robot already active, but I wasn't sure why it was active on the guy's part of the game. But we should be fine, I think, because it won't wake up unless I hit it or something else of the sort, I guess. Yeah, so there's a 15 coat thing that uh, in the last episode we saw that was mentioning that, so... What is that thing? It looks familiar, but I've never seen anything like it. I need that. Oh yeah, we need to press the button here. Oh. Thankfully, like it doesn't to make too much noise. Keep your secrets right where you can see them, don't you, Dolores? Excuse me. Yeah, thankfully, it doesn't make too much noises, so. though. Right, we got all the stuff we needed from that. This is a bone charm that we definitely need to keep or equip right now because I think that's useful for marking more targets. Uh, what's it called? Greater foresight. Yeah. It allows me to mark more people as a target. Uh, we already read this in the last episode, but I'm gonna put it up here anyways, just because some people might have. I have the vault key. Just in case some people might have wanted to skip over the last episode to key. see this one. What else is she hiding? They know a way into the void. Cienfuegos sent Eyeless documents to the Royal Conservatory. I need to find out what he knew. The Conservatory is my next step. Alrighty, there we go. Putting things back to back to how it was originally. But I need to also avoid uh, making too much movement onto these characters because there is a chance that they could just be like ridiculous. Uh, another ingot I see. Uh, copy. Yeah, I copied it down. And then read that. But yeah, I also took a liberty to look over the other, or check out the other, uh, I took the liberty to check out the other, uh, contract, the last contract we didn't get to do yet, which is the painting one, I think. Okay, we got the vault key, which we'll probably get to eventually. This one, I took the liberty to look at this, and I, I know where it is. It's kind of a surprising location, which I wasn't thinking about. I was wondering if it had anything to do with vault maintenance. Interesting. I'm trying to think what the vault main maintenance would have had done. Let me see if I can... Oops. Nope. Nope. Is it really, like, blocked off for me? There it is. Oh, there we go. My assumption was that this place was probably blocked off from here. Oh, wait. Oh, no! Ah, damn it. I messed up. <laughs> damn it. I realized that last minute that it was... The last minute I realized that it was going to kill me is because it had the electricity coil thing, the Tesla coil. So that was, like, the reason why I messed up. Uh, because I didn't realize that was the case of what was that... Uh, what was the, uh, the thing... Okay, so up here is the maintenance, but my question is, what is this maintenance got to do with anything? Like, will this mean that it shuts down the robot? Because I still want to shut down the Clockwork Soldiers, because they are my reasoning for why I can't get anywhere or go anywhere without stealthing my way through. Um, and I don't want to to hurt people further. I don't. I want to turn off the power of some places, so I can avoid having to hurt people or try to make objects hurt people. All right, what do you have here? I'll have to mark you, I guess. I wonder what these rooms are for, but... Oh, there's a thing here. 
I see a ventilation. Yeah, I guess, I guess we should go to the ventilation in order to... Okay, I already marked the tanker, so the tanker should be the one thing I need to get to somehow. Really nice. Really nice that you guys kept the... Oh, jeez. Oh, mm, I was close. I was super close. I just needed to figure out a... I need to make sure I was hitting the walls, I think. But I didn't hit the... I didn't hide behind the walls enough, I think. Sheesh. So so tough right now. I won't get anything right now. I'm gonna worry about this first, I think. Try to get this one here. There we go. Okay, at least that thing's not shocking me anymore. Okay, let me save just in case, because why not? Yes. Alright, cool. Let me go and check this out, at least. They covered my mark into the old bones switched by the sun. They covered my mark into their skin. They were in true hunger from the void. Oh? Letter from Jindosh. Wait, why is there another letter from Jindosh here? Hmm. I could get that vault moving with a little maintenance. What do you mean, with a little, little maintenance? I'm confused. What do you mean by little maintenance? I'm so confused by that. Oh, it's right here. What the heck? I didn't realize this was the uh, vault. Uh, well, I saved a little bit, but let me save again. I want to be careful for what I'm doing here. It looks like I can go through the vault from here, but... Oh, I didn't realize there was some stuff here. I forgot about the, the gold that comes with it in this area. Nothing else. Note to maintenance workers, don't take the vault decoupling re lever from the vault maintenance area. Note, none of you uh, need it. The breaking hatches of the vault are locked for a reason. If I can find the maintenance lever, I could take the entire vault off the track. Could be a way to get to it. A loud way. Oh, yeah, see, that's why I don't want that. Because it's too loud. It's also interesting that there's no human operator here at all whatsoever so that's the weird part of it for me all right i think i'm gonna drop down just to grab it but i'm not going to i need to drop down to grab something from it because i know there's a bone charm in there but let me see is the bone charm inside the little vault or actually no, it's inside the vault. Never mind. Okay, never mind. I, I, I made a mistake. Oh, dear. How would I get out of here? There we go. Yeah, I made a mistake. I thought the... The, uh, the bone charm was outside the vault, I thought. But it's actually inside the vault itself. Okay. Um, I was trying to open the door here. At least we got through that area so we can now, like... Kind of move around, I guess, a, a bit further. All right, let's get to round, or let's get to the second floor, or the uh, yeah, I guess the second floor because it's, it says two, uh, floor two at the very least. So, all right, so we got the code that technically gets us in, but the question is, can I go and? displace myself in here. That's the w the one thing I did last time, but I wasn't sure what the heck. Now, can I teleport myself inside here? It doesn't feel like I can, but I mean, maybe we can. I highly doubt it. Yeah, because I would have to be able to see myself, I guess. Now, I wanted to... Let me double check this a little bit more. 
Alright, so the guy's in here. He's moving with his thing. Voltaic shot. I can't hit the button from there, so it doesn't really matter to me as much. I'm kind of curious. What happens if I press the button? Or can I press the button? No admittance without authorization code. Yeah, because the only way to... Okay, well, I'm gonna have to risk it then. Um, Alright, I mean, technically... Hey. Wake up. Yeah, technically this is in. the only best way in actually, so <laughs> outsider's eyes. If Pena caught me sleeping on the job, he'd make me run the shock block. <clears throat> May I have the code, please? It's B15D. Now let me in. Okay, okay. Come on in. And uh, I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Chief Pena about my attention lapse. Alright, here we go. We got in here, all we needed to do, pretty much. Alright, at least we're operating a little bit better. We're still overtiming it, so that's the sad part. But I'm gonna try my best to get most of this done anyway, so... Give me a second, I, I didn't know. I didn't realize there was a map to the inner atrium, uh, atrium on that wall, so yeah. Double checking these areas because I want to grab a hold of anything I need to grab a hold of. I know that's the manual so that doesn't really matter to me as much. Two of the robots are off the hook but these two are still here so I need to be careful with that at the very least. Okay, so let's grab the loot off of these things, maybe, if we need to. Excuse me. That's nothing, just an alarm clock, I'm guessing. Yeah, let's grab some of the... ...pouches here. I believe there's some... Some fan, some pouches in here, I guess. Some lootable, basically. Look, mine. Hey, I forgot about that. All right. Um, if anything, if I'm able to distract the, like, if I'm able to make sure that the robot doesn't do anything to the guards that are sleeping, I think that's all fine and dandy, pretty much by that point. But still, I don't get how the the robot would wo would would have woken up everybody, and that's what bothers me a lot. I think. But otherwise, that's what I'm worried about. Is that when the ra the when the guy uh, wakes everybody up about like some other stuff? I guess that's where I'm kind of a little bit more concerned because that's where the uh, the thing comes a bit more like difficult. Like the things will start becoming a little bit more difficult to handle because I know that people will walk into that trap and kill themselves, even though I didn't want them to. So that's like one of my biggest concern is that kind of thing happening. Trying to get through. Damn it. Come on. Let me in. There we go. Jesus. That was ridiculous. Alright. Let me go and use the doors again. The door tops. Top of the doors again. Uh, needs to move a little bit off the edge so I can actually aim into here. I don't think there's anything I can loot off of it besides turning off the electrical floors, I guess. But even then again, it's like I don't really need to be here beyond grabbing these uh, these items, I guess. Yeah, let me go grab this crap out of the way. Thankfully, that thing doesn't end up having any additional things to itself, I guess I would say. Like, at least this one doesn't have a robot patrolling. Because if there was, I would have been so pissed. Because there's like, oh, the robot's like, oh, the, the thing is... 
uh, disordered or something like that. And that would have, like, really angered me a lot more. Okay, so we're in the room here with the vault controls, I believe. I'm trying to check around just in case I've missed anything. I know there's a particular floor I have not touched on, so... I'm gonna have to do that. So basically, the way to do this is... Uh, it's something I already checked up online a little bit. So the way to kind of handle this is to press the bottom floor first, the archives first, because it leads everybody downstairs first, and then press the upwards where it goes to the director's office, which is a good misleading to bring them to the wrong places that they're not supposed to go. But at the same time, none of them will wake up if you've well, if you've done everything right, I think. Oh shoot, I forgot to turn on the latch. Uh, or open this door for the latch, because I, I forgot to unlatch the thing. Which I'll let me go back to that and unlatch that. Yeah, if anything, if everything is under sort of normal conditions, it shouldn't affect the place by much. Like it, like the guy will probably still yell out about how people should go downstairs and everything, but that's not loud enough to get them to wake up. Apparently, is what I saw, but I'm not entirely sure if that's the case because I'm. 100% certain people will die, and I'm not going to be happy about it, but... Alright, we need to be careful here. Okay, I forgot to go through here again. So the only way back in is to... Yeah, to go through there. So, yeah. So I don't need to go through the microphone every time to get to the guy. Um, there is a floor I didn't visit, so I'm gonna visit that floor first before we go further into the thing. Or maybe we'll end the episode here and then uh, start up the next episode with something else. No, it's not this floor. The uh, It's downstairs a little bit more. It's like somewhere between this floor here, it's the second floor, and the first floor, which is where the base level of stuff is at. I remember there was like a particular floor I looked at or something. Maybe I need to just take the elevator to, like, the basement floor to get to it, I guess. Let's go to the archives first. Yeah, I'm taking the elevator there, and then... Yeah, I'm taking the ele elevator down to here first, and then hopefully going to go upstairs. Because there was a door I remember I walked in, but I might have imagined... I might have probably forgotten forgotten it or maybe I probably went through it and it was probably something else maybe yeah never mind it was something else yeah see you see that robot doing the thing that's literally it scanning it scanning to see if it's on rather than seeing if it's on their side or my side of the uh, bargaining of helping me or being against me if I was to walk through the wall so that's why I shouldn't wake that thing up all right in the next episode, we'll go ahead and raise the alarm for the vault, I think. So we're going to go into the security on alarms, and this time, for sure, in the next episode, things will play out hopefully better, but we'll see, because I'm saving up my, my time for the next episode to actually legitimately get through this area and, like, get the hell out of here quickly. But I don't know what to what extent will affect the robots. That's what I'm scared of, is I don't know to what extent... I need to worry about these robots. So that'll be worried about... That will be something I'll be worrying about in the next episode instead. Instead of this episode in general. Hey, this is Tic-Tac-Toe. It looks like this game is a dead end. <laughs> it looks like it's a dead end game. So then who's going next? That's the question. X usually goes first, I believe. So X would have went next. So if you've said X is here... Or here, it's still a dead end. Putting X here is already a dead end, given. Because the circle will go in the right here, and that would be it. So, whoever it is, they've pretty much got got a tie there. Alright. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys in the next episode are nobody minds. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We're gonna want to watch this. This time we did better. Uh, but in the next episode, everything's gonna come down the line. And we'll finish this up once and for all. Uh, I do apologize. Uh, just to to the fact that I had to redo this whole thing again um, because I had no choice but to uh, 
redo this do redo this episode because of the fact that I had nothing I can do to uh, to f to make my part of the episode here easier for myself to worry about because there was like literally not a lot I can run on honestly there's not a lot of things I can do because I have a contract to uh, to continue getting like, I have a contract I have to, to oblige to, but at the same time, with this contract, I need to make sure that I don't have too many issues with uh, with what I'm doing here at the very same time. Um, because that would be very, very, like, bad for me as a, a in the game for now. But otherwise, in the next episode, we will go ahead and get this vault going, and then if nobody wakes up, perfect. Like, the only guy who can wake up is the guy who's behind the... Microphone control, like that's the only guy who needs to wake up because he's the only ticket into this particular place in general that is a little bit quieter than everything. Um, so it was, it would just be that guy to deal with, and that's pretty much it. Like there, there's no more other thing to deal with beyond that. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it for this episode. And uh, yeah, next episode we'll go ahead and see what's gonna happen next. So other than that, Roz. Ah.